Watch, I'll go first. <laughs> Cheers! 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 Ciao, Cheers! Ciao, Cheers! Ciao, Cheers! Ciao, Ja, ich bin immer noch ein bisschen äh, äh, ja, aufgeregt, weil wir gerade Cassie Neistat getroffen haben. Wir haben Cassie Neistat getroffen. Welcome to my channel. My name is Frederick Harcourt and I'm super happy to have you guys with me today. Before I share my Casey story with you, let me set the scene. So I'm an entrepreneur based in Berlin doing YouTube videos once a week for entrepreneurs and everybody who wants to do something in their lives they really love. And usually I do those videos um, in German. As you might have already realized, thanks to my beautiful German accent. But I thought as uh, Casey is more an international phenomenon than he is a German one, I do this video in, in English, so more of you guys can follow. So who is Casey Neistat? Um, in my eyes, Casey Neistat is nothing less but the greatest storyteller out there. It's right there! Come on! And one of the few people who really shaped YouTube and the way stories are told on YouTube. What is up with this weather? June 6th. Summer should be here already. These guys are good though. I saw Casey for the first time just three years ago um, on the online marketing Rockstars conference in Hamburg. I wasn't much on YouTube back then, I was far away from having my own channel. And there he comes, Casey Neistat. I watched some videos and what can I say? I fell in love. I fell in love with his personality and the way he tells stories, the way he makes films on YouTube, for YouTube. Because when I studied on the Munich Film Academy in 2000, I did that because I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to produce films. But I realized throughout my studies that a film is a huge project and this frustrated me. And there comes Casey Neistat. Doing those films, telling those stories in a beautiful way on YouTube. And that was the day when I knew that's what I want to do as well. So just one year later, I started my own channel. And did he influence me? Did he inspire me? Oh yes, he did. But leider my name is dabei. Enchanté. Das war 2018 ein, ein sehr herausforderndes Jahr. So, fast forward and 46 of my own videos later, in March 2020, I flew to Los Angeles. <laughs> To attend one of the largest food conferences without knowing that it would be cancelled because of Corona. But thanks to my friend Frederick, who lives in the Bay Area anyways, I flew and we met to hang out with each other and decided on a beautiful Saturday morning to have breakfast. So while we walk into the breakfast place, I spot Casey sitting on the right hand side. I start shaking. 
Can that be true bumping into Casey Neistat in the 10 million city of LA? And what should I do now? I don't even hesitate a second. I warn my friend, take a right. Camera is still rolling and walk towards him. Man, am I shaking. And what am I going to say if it's really him? It's him. Focus, Fred, focus. Hi, you. What's up? My name is Frederick. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. And I just want to say one thing. Go. I, I am from Germany and oh, I saw you on the Coleman. Omer Festival in Germany. Yeah, yeah. Like two years ago. Mm. And this, you were the reason why I started vlogging. Oh, amazing. And so it's a, it's a big honor meeting you here. Hi, I'm Frederick. I'm I hope you're doing well. Good to we see you. We meet once a year in, uh, in LA to kind of reconnect. I live in San Francisco. He lives in Berlin. <laughs> oh, well, welcome. And, uh, I'm a huge fan a, of Berlin. It's true. He started, he has a... I'm actually an entrepreneur, so I'm helping people to lose weight. That's my main business. But on the side has like kind of log and uh yeah well, keep killing it yeah thank you man it was a pleasure <laughs> meeting and sorry for interrupting no with, no uh, problem nice yeah. to meet you thanks man have a good yeah, one take care yeah, cheers bye, man. Guys. bye, bye. <laughs> What a great experience meeting Casey and what a great guy. Just before he left we took a last picture together. So before I burn down the house completely, um, let me just tell you why I did this this Casey Neistat meeting video in first place. Obviously because it's important to me, so I wanted to share it with you guys. But I think even more important than that is it taught me a great lesson. The Casey Neistat story taught me the lesson that having a role model, somebody who inspires you in, in a certain way is, is not only okay, actually it's great. There was a time when I thought, no, 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 no. At times where I was fan of somebody are really over. When I was a teenager, I had like posters of football players or music bands in my room, but I'm a grown up now. I know how life works. And actually I don't, and that's okay. Um, obviously, I have my expertise in, in some areas, but I want to learn every day and I want to learn new stuff. And why shouldn't I learn from somebody who really inspires me? Um, somebody who is a, is a real role model for me. Probably the most important thing to succeeding, whether it's in the vlog game, the YouTube game, or in the creative space at all, is this. You have to have your own thing. So is Casey Neistat my life role model? He sure isn't because he has a totally different background, he has a different setup. I have a totally different vision for my life than he has. But when it comes to content creation, to YouTube, to storytelling, he sure is my role model. And um, I wanna thank you for that, Casey. So the more I think of this concept of having different role models throughout the years in the different areas of expertise, the more I really like it. Who is your role model? Faye, who is your role model? Mm -hmm.